Welcome back to Doing Football, the Owner's Box NFL and Fantasy Football Show. Today, wrapping up week nine, getting into a lot of good storylines here from the week. We'll cover the Packers, Sandy's Packers, um, in a little bit. But a few different things to talk about, Kyle Shanahan, Sam Darnold. I want to talk a little bit of, obviously this was a big upset type Sunday. We'll, we'll kind of, I, I want to get you guys Hungry thoughts dogs. on uh, on where you guys, if you're making a Super Bowl pet, bet who it would be on. So think about that. Uh, but let's start with Kyle Shanahan. So I asked you guys before we recorded that we, you think about a coach you would compare him to in the history of sports. It doesn't have to be NFL specifically, but just any sport. I want to start with this, though. He's now 31-40 and 40 as a head coach. Going to this game spread-wise, like things were moving all throughout the week because the expectation of Kyler Murray and, uh, and Hopkins not playing. So he's now 31 and 40 as a head coach. Avery said this to me. Matt Nagy has a better head coaching record than Kyle Shanahan does. <laughs> That's crazy. So I would I'll, never have guessed that. One's I'll, on the hot seat and one's not. Exactly. So I'll, I want to open it as, as this is how I picture him. I'm not going to compare him to a coach. I'm just going to compare him to a different situation. This is like when you're playing, you were playing like a little league and you guys were like, let's say you're 10, 11, maybe 12. And there's that guy on your team that was that just dominated when you were a kid, right? Yeah. And then you're 16, and he just he's just not the same. He's not the same guy. There's so many of those. He's not as good anymore. League, yeah. People it's have like, passed him by, and that's how I think of Kyle Shanahan. But you still respect him. He gets up to the plate, and you're like, he's he's gonna hit get the, get us that hit. Heavy we need. hitter, yeah. yeah. But he just doesn't do it. What will it take for him not to lose that respect now, though? Kyle Shanahan, <clears throat> that is. I think the narrative's changing on him. It's so? starting to. I think this week it will start to. It has to. Yeah. So should I go first? I have my yeah. coach. So. T-Mac came to me earlier and he said, pick a coach. So I thought, I was in the lab. Now, this one might be a little unpopular, but I am comparing Kyle Shannon in the NFL to Doc Rivers in the NBA. You have to be shitting me, dude. <laughs> Did you think <laughs> he said the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a no-brainer. 08, it's fine. We can have the same pick. Yeah. It's uh-huh. obvious. Yeah. yeah. Doc Rivers won the championship 08, went to the Clippers. Didn't They had good team, good teams every year. Didn't do anything. Now he's with the 76ers. Yeah. It's a shit. It's an absolute shithole. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's like he's... Kyle Shannon, obviously smaller sample size than Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers did win that championship against the Lakers in 08. But since that championship, I don't know his exact record, but I know it's not good. But every year he's like, oh, Doc Rivers, like always in the top of people's minds when it comes to like top NBA coaches. Sorry, I took yours, Ava. No, it's okay. It Here's just, the thing we that, didn't talk about it. And yeah. of course, yeah. we had the same. Yeah, that yeah. is a problem. Here's the thing that, that's crazy, though, is he's 31 and 40 as a head coach. And he has a season in here where he went 13 and 3 like yeah. when they went to a Super yeah. Bowl that he choked away. Now, do you think it's the? This is I'm not making excuses. That division is a great division of football. Yeah. Like, but still, like that record is shocking. Matt Nagy and him. Now, the NFC North obviously a worse division than the AFC West in recent years, but that's still not good. How many years has Kyle Shanahan been the coach? It's the f- this is four. I think. Year? That I sounds think about this right. Is four. Yeah, fourth year. Because so the thirteen he, and three year was his second year. Yeah. Did he go to the Super Bowl in his second year or first year? Oh, I can look. That can't up. Remember. I can't remember. Yeah. Because what was the Patriots' 2017 that they won that Super Bowl against the Falcons? Does that sound right? Um, yeah, that does sound right. So then 2018, 19, because he left right after that year. Oh, then I think it was the Niners. second year because it was there was a two year gap between on um, the Patriots. Because it, yeah, it was um, Patriots Super Eagles Bowls. the next year, right? Yeah, and nine and 19 is when he went to the Super Bowl. So yeah, yeah it was, yeah, it was is, in 19. This was his third year. So he started in 17. With the so this is his fifth year. The fifth year okay. this year. So okay. in his third year, he went thirteen to three and made the Super Bowl. Yeah, you think? I, I mean, you think about it. And it's been a. It's been a while. Like if you think about it on the side of like college, college coaches don't get that kind of running room that that NFL coaches do. But I even think about Mike Zimmer. Like the last, he's he's earned plenty of respect in the in the coaching world. But I mean, this season has been horrible. They've been competitive and in every game that they've played this year, and so many games they should have won and haven't won that you can't even say like. Oh, there's you know if we get a couple bounces, we're yeah. we're way better team. Well, if you just get bad these bad bounces every game, are you really that good? Yeah, it's time we talk about like NFC North, Nagy, Zimmer, like those are two guys. And then I don't, I don't want to say Dan Campbell. I love Dan Campbell, but he's like it's hard to do. Like, he's Dan no Campbell's wins. a bad coach. He's not going to get yeah. hosed after this year. I don't think. But, I like, think th- for sure. You think, you think so? so? No, no, I don't no, think. No, 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 I don't no, think. No, I don't no, think okay, they're going to give him at least two years. No, like, yeah. he's no, rebuilding no, that no, team. No, he was but that hand, division. Is, he was hand picked to tank this year. In my in your opinion? opinion, you thought he like, gave off like the thing like oh, we're going to go fucking. He was the play hard. Like we'll play hard. Yes, it was like here. Let's make let's set the culture a little bit. But they Detroit might be smarter than we think. Because they made him the head coach this year, then they just fire him. They get a real head coach. Eric Bieniemy is their head coach next year, or something like that. But and then they have a competent quarterback. And then he they is. Can make a run. Did you guys yeah. see though that they didn't put any scouts in that uh, Liberty game? 
where it was Malik Willis versus Matt Corral, Corral. or whatever his name is. Yeah. Like they didn't have a single scout at the game. There was like half the teams in the league that brought scouts to that game. I don't None think from Detroit. How much I don't value know. do you put in in somebody being in the building for a game though? Well, you. I mean, it's, like, it at least shows you have interest in players. Yeah, yeah. They Maybe have, they, they don't have interest in yeah, players. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna have the first, second pick. Those guys. These guys so. also aren't guys that they would pick if they picked first, first or second. Yeah, yeah they're fair. Fair. Although like, aren't they the top two prospects? Yeah, at this point? but yeah, they might the, not go in the top. Two, 10. Two in, yeah. the, them two and strong are the top three guys for sure. The Lions need more than a quarterback. They need a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's. I don't. I don't think there's a career. Um, or a franchise changing, changing no, quarterback in this in, draft, in yeah. the top of this draft. Yeah, there's there's good there's things good. about Carson Strong. He's he's a great passer, but he's he's not very mobile. And I really think that in I know Brady's completely <laughs> changed that, but mobility and like being able to avoid tack like tacklers, oncoming tacklers, and the athletes that we the, the modern NFL has on the f- defensive line. I think mobility is really really important. Yeah. So he doesn't really have that. Corral's accuracy is really spotty, but he is a good runner. I think Willis will be the first one off the board. I think Willis is the, yeah. I think even he's though the guy. he fucking I, had, I mean, he should have covered this week. I mean, he <laughs> cross body. I mean, he played SEC. He played SEC talent. Yeah, and then he made a pl- and then he made a decision that was. FCS decision. Yeah, that was Delaware State type decision. My narrative though was the NFC North coaches outside of Matt Lafleur are all in the hot seat, arguably. Yeah, the Zimmer thing is. I think he has to be. He plays. He plays really conservative, especially when they have a lead. I, when I when they went up when they returned that kick to start the second half, I'm like, okay, the Vikings are going to win this game. They yeah. can't. They're not going to lose again. But yeah, they just played. That was classic Baltimore. Leads. Just classic Baltimore. No, isn't that the opposite of? Baltimore no, we, me and Abe talked about this. You, I you, think it's you classic. Tell, you tell. No, it's just said. they used to like lose those games. They they would always lose those games yeah. in recent memory. And the narrative like changed. Lamar. Year. Oh yes, yeah, this, this year, year a lot of fourth oh, quarter yeah, comebacks. But, yeah, but they've in the history. Yeah, they yeah. completely they used to be the what they are. Yeah. yeah. Though we said we said they can't they can't play Th- from behind. They yeah. can't throw the ball. Can't throw the ball. Yeah. And now they're doing both of those things. Yeah. Which is huge for them. But again, the defense. Lamar's been really good throwing the ball finally. Yeah. Yeah. He has been all year. Pretty much. Well, you just have to draft a really yeah, good first Yeah, now that they have yeah. a lot of options for him. Yeah. yeah, but we got off track. Did you have a coach you want to compare Kyle Shanahan to? I don't think I have like a really good one. I guess I'd say like Joel Quenville might be a good comparison. Yeah, I was also thinking like, about Babcock too. Like, <laughs> I don't know. He was like really good with Chicago, at least it seemed like, and he just it doesn't seem like he's done anything since what was it, like 2016. Yeah, since I like then, how we've, all of, we've done here is compare him to guys that have actually won NFL. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like yeah, won yeah, championships. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Doc Rivers one is a good comparison. It's, it's, it's very easy to forget people who don't win championships, yeah. though, right? But like, we're talking yeah. like, oh wait, that was 12 years ago. Mm-hmm. Look at Doc Rivers, Doc Rivers' resume in the last 12 years, and it's like. I, I mean, he takes his team to the playoffs every year, but they were just consistently losing every yeah. time they got. to But they were always talented. Doc Rivers, one of the best coaches, like he's always in that conversation right. with no results. The, the other thing years. is that, like, think about Babcock. He coached, he coached uh, Team Canada, and I felt like he was kind of on the on the downturn. And then you think about uh, like Rivers is coach coach for Team USA, right? Yep. He's never been the the head coach there, but still. Um, but yeah, I mean, Shanahan's like a. It's like a. He's he came into the NFL so young, and from this family of coaches that he just like gets our respect for yeah. forever, it seems like. Then I'll go like Jim Beheim or something like that. Yeah. To yeah, that's, int- that's not bad. Too. To your credit, T-Mac, I took the 49ers two weeks ago, and you're like, I cannot trust Kyle. You were yeah. off the Kyle. You've been off Kyle Shanahan for, Pissed I think, at least three weeks very aggressively. So, yeah. to you your know, credit. You know Jim Beheim killed someone last year? Did you hear that story? He, no. He like, killed someone that. with his car. And really? it was just like, yeah, my dad was telling me about it last week. I was, It was just glassed over like people didn't really know that story oh that much. That. Did you speaking of that, I heard that that uh Ruggs in terms of the his driving under the influence thing, there's a chance that apparently like that something about there's question as to whether or not he was they actually reported his intoxication to know how if he was under the influence and that if he if they don't prove that he was under the influence, that it would just be vehicular manslaughter, and that's a misdemeanor. Yeah, no, there's been multiple times where this has happened in the NFL that the people who killed someone they weren't under the influence played in the NFL the same season. Yeah, like Damn. that, absolutely fucking insane. Like you, you, 
you are going 160 miles per hour and, and somehow that's like, even that in itself seems like that's, you should yeah. go to jail for yeah. a while. You're supposed like, go to well, depends the for a state, while. but like they'll take your license for that in California. Yeah. I know that for sure. I think, he, I think he plays within the next four years. That'd, that'd be insane. No. That'd be, I, I know. But that'd yeah, be, let's just, that'd it doesn't feel insane. like he should be allowed to at all. Right. Yeah, that'd next be insane. question. You're not uh, finding a 4-2 speed on the street, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I want to talk Sam Darnold because I think he's, we have, this is one of the all-time bamboozling type performances from any player in sports. Gets the pass because he played for the Jets, and then we saw him play the first few weeks against some shitty teams. Thought he was good. Thought he might be, you know, just a case of, you know, the Adam Gase situation. But right now, he is single-handedly making Matt Rule look like a bad coach and keeping Joe Brady from probably get like what should have been an NFL gig. He should have as a head coach next season. He made. I want to talk to you, Sandy, about this just from the quarterback side of yeah. he made through two interceptions inside the 30 in the fourth quarter in their own in their own zone. No, no. Oh, in, in the red zone. In the, like just, Basically, just, just outside. Just yeah. barely in the red or just barely outside the red yeah. zone where he's running to his offhand side, throwing on the run and just kind of floating a ball to the sideline and just throwing it, throwing it for an interception. He just thinks he's much more better than he is and it's crazy isn't re- like he doesn't really have that humbling type thing considering he's been horrible in the nfl like those turnovers are cost yeah. what first of all no matter if you're rolling out if you're step dropping back turning a ball over you're in or near the red zone is like the biggest crime as a quarterback yeah. throw it away you'd rather take a shot at a field goal if you just throw the ball away on third and long third and short instead of making that stupid cross body or you know errant throw on the run like that is something Sam Darnold always do. I think the rushing, like all the rushing he did early in the season, kind of gave him like the, the yeah. power, like, hey, I'm gonna, sc- I can make a play happen. Like you know what I mean? A broken play, I'll make it happen. But you can't be if you're gonna turn the ball over thirty inside the thirty. Like as you said, I think that's just the biggest crime. You're you're literally setting your team up for a loss there. I mean, we saw it all week in their inter- bad interceptions, ruining games. So I think you know Sam Darnold should be. Uh, He's horrible. He should be relaxed a little bit and you know throw the ball away more. Sam Darnold ruined Adam Gase. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready for that? Are you ready to jump yeah. on that boat right I'm now? Jump on, the, on that boat. Terod also had an egregious interception, the one that he backhanded. Oh, my God. Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't oh, see yeah. that. T-Mac, it was horrible. I yeah, it was. For you it was so he was like, he was running to his left, and he, you know, he just like how they kind of flicked it, it out of bounds. It, toe tap. So, past the line of scrimmage. Um, it was just right to a Dolphins player. He, just <laughs> caught it. he toe tapped, he was in. So, was which like, one was worse, Stafford uh, or Terod? Um, look at Terod's team. Look at this. This is just horrendous. Probably Stafford. Stafford's was look horrible. Oh my god! <laughs> no way. But why? I don't know why that should count. He stepped out of bounds. The defender. Um, what do like, you mean? Like, look, his foot's he, out his of bounds. Foot was out of bounds. Yeah, well, you have to like reestablish. Look at that. Right there, his foot's out of bounds. Oh, true. Yeah. But how bad? Because like, if anybody, watched, right now, like, if anybody watched right now, if anybody watched the Rams game, he's game? shoveling that too. He's like, fuck it. And just shoving I don't know what it's. If anybody watched the Rams game last night, I think he just thought he was throwing it into the yeah, like into the sidelines. Yeah. Stafford's one was Stafford's one was too. horrible, hilarious, yeah, horrible. so funny. That was oh Carson Wentz. That Carson Wentz is last week. Yeah, and so this one. The, the other reason I want to talk about Darnold is because I was on TikTok on the weekend on Saturday and I saw a video come up from Jordan Palmer and he the the guy asked him like who is the hardest working quarterback you've ever worked with and he goes you know I don't want to answer that question I don't want to disrespect any of the quarterbacks I work with but man Sam Darnold works so hard <laughs> yeah he's like this guy. He, you know, during the pandemic, every excuse in the world not to go to the gym, everything's closed, every field's closed. He's still showing up and he's never leaving early. And then I watch him on Sunday and he was the worst quarterback probably in the NFL. Like I mean, he was we, terrible. We've played at like decent level of sports and it's like, you know, players who work hard aren't always the, like, yes, talent will beat people. You can get to a high level working really hard with a mix of talent, but people who are talented, like from the start, just are going to take over. Yes. yes. That's a that's off. a good note, actually, really good because I think that brings to mind a couple of people that I've played sports with that I know worked. Not to say that I'm some super mega athlete, but they worked incredibly hard yeah. to try to be like good, and they just they just weren't. It just wasn't going to happen for them. So we talk about how bad Ohio State quarterbacks are. Like, are USC quarterbacks just as bad? Nate, yeah. Who's the last good USC watched, NFL quarterback? Um, we're gonna forget. It wasn't Matt Leinart though. No, he wasn't. Uh, He's probably the no, best. No, Pat Leinart, yeah, that's, that's where do crazy. I even go Car- back to think about because who was Carson Palmer would be who the best. was before Darnold? Uh, yes, yeah. Carson Palmer would be the best. I would say Carson Palmer yeah. is probably better than any. Um, Mark class. Sanchez, yeah, Mark Sanchez was yeah. at USC. True, Matt Barkley, John David Pat Bowie, Hayden. Matt Barkley. Let's go. Good okay, so Barkley, I yeah. w- I wanted to bring up on this Darnold side is 
if I'm looking at backup quarterbacks, because we saw what Ted, Teddy did last year, and that was, he did a great you job. know, he did a he takes care of the ball, right? That's what he really does. I'm thinking of back, current backups right now of who I'd rather have them or Sam Darnold, Marcus Mariota, Mariota, Mariota he can do stuff with the feet. He, he'll stuff. take care of the ball. Do stuff I mean, Darnold does do stuff with the feet. Yeah, but <laughs> Mariota is a lot better. Fuck, I, I I'm gonna take Mariota, but. Fuck man, full game. Like he comes in and he runs the ball, but like a full game slate. San Ronald's so bad that honestly anyone would do better. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with Mariota here. Okay, Mitch Trubisky. I'm Sam going Trubisky. Darnold. Sam, Sam Darnold. Darnold. Come on. I watched no. Mitch Trubisky for years in North. But like but how, it with how bad have Darnold's been, been I would rather just put Trubisky. Dude, Trubisky's in there. worsened with the turnovers. I know it's hard to hear. He's horrible. It's close. Go look at Trubisky's game. I logs, feel like bro. Mitch Trubisky with that coaching, though. I think he could he could be competent. Yeah. I think he could be good. I think he could Remember, be he had Matt Nagy. But I would probably just play P.J. Walker instead of them. I think P.J. Walker. Too. Yeah, I think. No. Okay, Mike, Glenn, Mike Glennon. No. Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold. That contract, though, uh, forever in infamy. <laughs> Sam Darnold. Yeah, I think we're going Sam Darnold there. These are good, though. These okay. are actually good. Uh, Nick Foles. Nick Foles. Sam Darnold. Nick Foles is a third Healthy string. Nick Foles. Nick Foles. Did it, I know. Yeah, Drew is <laughs> technically not a backup. I'm given if after these, he did, Sam Darnold has no touchdowns and four interceptions in the last three games. I'm going to roll. I would rather roll Nick Foles out next Super week. Super Bowl MVP. Let him roll at Nick Foles than roll Sam Darnold out next week. I mean, we saw Nick Foles play. It's just ugly still yeah. now. Hey. Uh, Sam Darnold just was even yeah. worse. So. I would, I would just go Nick. I would yeah. like love I think to I'd see go Nick Foles. <laughs> Let's just get to mix him out it up. There. Give him a chance. I He's hungry. You Let guys are just like the unknown. Yeah, is what it's been, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But the thing is, is with with Darnold, I do think that he ends up like playing being a backup in the NFL and being around for a long time yes. because he's not quite like what Josh Rosen did. That dude has the worst. Like oh that, talk about a terrible, uh, put into a terrible situation. <laughs> the well, guy goes, kind of let me go play. Well, he didn't really love football. Sir. No, no, no. Okay, you go to your point. I'll chime in after but you he, finish your point. He goes to the worst team in the NFL, yes. has to start because they have nobody else, isn't good. Wow, what a surprise that, <laughs> that a guy on a terrible football team didn't have a great year, and then he's immediately – like out of consideration Exiled, yeah. for any backup job. Like he's just like a guy somebody will hang out on to as a third string. Well, I think it's yeah. very similar to Sam Darnold. No, different situation. Darnold, very different. Darnold, more of like a team football guy. Josh Rosen, people forget. That guy got in trouble at UCLA freshman year for having a hot tub in his dorm room. I feel like First he wasn't thing. a team guy. He was not a team guy. He got And then on draft day, when he got drafted super late, he said, you guys are all going to regret drafting the QBs ahead of him. Yeah. The QBs ahead of him were like all like – I think what was that the Josh Allen? Yeah, Josh Allen, yeah, like yeah. Josh Sam Allen, Darnold, Allen, Baker. Yeah. yeah, Baker, all those guys. Like, you're gonna regret drafting all these guys ahead of me. And then he kind of just got ate his own words. So no. I, I don't he doesn't deserve it, but like he had it coming, I think. It's well, more of that term. One thing I always think about with Josh Rosen is when I watched him at UCLA, there was a game, can't remember who they were playing, but the commentators were, were talking about the fact that he, they were saying he needs to not throw the ball so hard. His receivers can't ca- like yeah. are tr- struggling to catch it. In high school, he went to St. John Bosco, like the best school in California. They were he did? incredible. He went to St. John, yeah, Bosco. St. John Bosco. He was like setting every record. He was absurd. Like they said, he was the best high school quarterback they've seen since like Liner in California because Liner went to Matter Day. Crazy. He was insane. And then I college, bet you he, he was Josh. He Allen wasn't even talent. that. He wasn't even that. People forget. He wasn't that great at UCLA. No. Like, he was not overly, like, holy shit, he's that good. No. He just had, like, those intangibles. All yeah. the draft yeah, scouts yeah. were like, this Arm is talent. our guy. Yeah. Arm talent, for sure. But, like, he was not even that good at UCLA. He was getting beat by USC every year. They were losing Is he on games. a roster right now? Yeah, he's yeah, on the third Bucks string. Roster. Yeah. 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 Anyways. Okay. Going from, I want to go from bad QBs to, should we do this or should I? No, I'll, I'll do this first. Uh, I want to go from bad QBs to, let's power rank our top three quarterbacks in the NFL right now. Okay, how are we qual- how are we qualifying these? Yeah. Just who quarterback you'd want on your team as a top guy? Like, you need to have- you need to win you need to win a football game three days from now on Tom, Thursday okay. night football biggest game of the season. Who who are the three guys? Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Lamar Jackson. Keeping Mahomes out of it. I've, we've all watched he the has, same football yeah. this year. We can talk about the Chiefs in a, in a few. Can we talk? Who you got, Jared? Chiefs. We know Aaron Rodgers in it, so just go ahead. No, I'll, I'm going to put Rodgers in it. Brady, I'm going to go Brady, Rodgers, and then I'm uh, I'm going Mahomes. I should say, I should, we you know what? The question was rephrased, I should, yeah. I should rephrase it with this. It is, let me think of a team. I put, I put, these. What, you, you power rank them based on I put these guys on the Steelers. They're starting for the Steelers. A good, better way to phrase it. So, like, as a, so to like garbage offensive on. line now. Okay, I can pick a better offensive line. Let's go Broncos. Let's go Broncos. 
Okay. So Avery, go. Good my roster. Same my guys. answer doesn't it's change. It's the same? Okay. Yeah. yeah, me too. Okay. Actually, wait, is Deshaun team. Watson eligible in this? Uh, let's no. keep him out, because okay, I would have him in, but I'll yeah. keep him yeah. out. Who uh, do you have? You have I'll, go, gonna, I'll go last. I'm going to do Brady, Rodgers, Josh Allen. Those are my three. That's good. I would go Mahomes. I know it's been terrible. I'd go Mahomes, Rodgers, and Justin Herbert. <laughs> fourth, Tom. Fourth would probably be Tom Brady. You, Even you though I just you don't Herbert in there Broncos. over Brady. So Tom Brady's thing is he needs a lot of weapons around him. Like they have the Broncos have so weapons. many weapons. The Broncos do have good weapons. That's why I threw him in there. But I'm saying like for me, Justin Herbert sleeper thrown in there. Like if you need to go win a game, I like Justin Herbert in there too. He'd be probably be easily my top five, maybe my fourth. So so why do we all leave Kyler Murray out of that conversation? I don't. What's think the reason? I don't think he's as good of a quarterback as the other guys. I think I th- he's a he good was, quarterback. He was the one I was thinking of you were adding, thinking but him. I've we've seen Rodgers and Brady just win. Do it, yeah. yeah. I also Lamar, think I Kyler think Murray is like he's he's like one injury. Like if he hurts his leg or something like that, like his game changes forever. Like if he has one injury, no, I know that just well, that wasn't no, really factored in. There was weeks where he didn't run. He's been very but like his arm, his shoulder issues. I don't know. Right, the question was like in right now. Who, if I had a game this week in three yeah. days for the Broncos, those are my three guys. I'm I think with that Kyler would be down at like six or seven for me. Yeah, I think of him at five or six probably. Like I almost think of him kind of like I think of Dak. I don't know why. Dak I do is, think should that be Kyler's in that discussion too, though. I know they held no. down week. In my, he should be in my. He's in my top three discussion. I'd probably put Dak over Kyler. Me too. You put Dak yes. over Kyler. Yeah. yeah. To go okay. win a ball game. I feel game. like that's a little bit crazy yeah, yeah, because I, I think Kyler's just more talented at pretty much everything. I think I so know. too. I don't know. Dak Prescott. Going to win a ball game, yes. The stats, I even though Dak's stats are pretty good this year, obviously Kyler Murray's going to run the ball more, get you know score rushing touchdowns. But I think from going to win a game perspective, Dak has to be in my top five. Zero question. Yeah, I will. I will say this with the fact that I did not watch the Cowboys play, so I don't know how bad or good Dak they were doing bad. Looked, but I think about that with not even taking that game into consideration. I do think that Dak's definitely like in the ten for like the first ten guys, no doubt. But I do think Kyler's. Uh, probably better th- has better arm talent on the run is a better runner like I don't I don't I just think Dak. I like Dak though I do like Dak but yeah. I don't, wouldn't be consideration great question though um so tons of like we had the, we had the Cowboys lose we had the Patriots lose or not the Patriots we had the Bills lose um I want to actually quick before I do this I want to ask you guys Super Bowl like I said but I kind of felt like Urban Meyer after this game had this <laughs> thought of like he just was like he walked away from this game going like I beat Alabama like I just beat yeah. Alabama today, yeah. even though he doesn't realize that it's this NFL is not game. this is the NFL. Everybody's on the same yeah. talent level, and you're not coaching at Temple like this was it like mm-hmm. like the you know the the worst team in college came up showed up and you know Rutgers beat Ohio State. It's like anyone can beat anyone on okay. any given Sunday. I hate to interrupt you, but on the question of the best quarterbacks you have, you have to lose a football game. Who is your quarterback? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Carson, <to> Wentz. <laughs> Carson Wentz. Yeah, you have. You just have one. Okay, you good. have. Oh, good question. Want me to go first? The three? It has to be starting quarterback. Three guys? Yeah. Three guys. Three guys. And okay. it's a starting quarterback. I'll go first. Carson Wentz. I need to pull up the Sam Darnold. Somebody. And who's my third? My third would be... Oh, my God. Justin Fields right now. Okay. Justin Fields. Fields. No. I can't consider Fields because he's a rookie. Yeah, I'll I'll go. Go. I know that's I kind of harsh on me. I apologize. That is harsh, but that was the third I thought of. Okay. Jared Goff for sure. Yeah. He's in my Oh, yeah. fuck. That's a good Yeah, that's good. Um, fucking, I guess Jacoby Brissett slash Tua. I think they'd just lose right now. Yeah. And then I want to just put Nathan Peterman in this, but then, but then you guys said starting quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. And then I'll go uh, Big Ben. Daniel Jones won this weekend, Drew Ski. Big Ben's a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go Zach Wilson, Jared Goff, Sam Darnold. Like Sam yeah. Darnold's lock in mine. I feel like absolute lock. Carson Wentz. Carson yeah. Wentz is a <laughs> yeah. stone cold lock. Yeah. Like <laughs> that game last week against the Titans. Hey, the Titans are good. That was the first name I thought of. Oh Carson yeah, the Wentz. Titans are good. People. I, I think Carson. Be bothered I think Carson Wentz not is a good about that. He, but but Losing last two games, minutes yeah. just absolutely crumbled against yeah. the Titans. That was so That's he's definitely there. Darnold is Darnold is for sure my two. That. That dude, they could have won that game this week. Oh my god! And then my three, my three is probably going to. It's got to be Goff. I feel like I know Goff is it's a good guy, one. Such but a like Zach Wilson's a good if one. Zach yeah. Wilson, if, if, if it's between Zach Wilson and Carson Wentz, you need to win the game. 
Carson, Carson Wentz Carson. is going to. You're taking Carson Wentz. You're taking in like Jets versus the Colts like mindset. This is a lot of yeah. This is a lot of my like narrative based of like him in this particular situation is not. I think you're still mad about that Colts loss. That was brutal. I mean, it was fucking horrible. Even if you didn't have money on it, that was just horrible. But. Yeah, I, I like D- Daniel Jones is sneaky there. But yeah, he's starting to turn the page away from B. Mr. I'm, I've, I've been on D- DJ lately. He's been winning games. I not well, not many, but he's been uh, playing better football. That's for sure. Okay, let's get uh, to the what were we? Oh, uh, Super Bowl wise, because I'm like I said, we had the it's Bills lose, we had the now. Cowboys lose. If you're placing a Super Bowl bet, you can tell me if it's by you know getting good value on this team, or you just think that they're the best team in the NFL. Who, who would you be placing a bet on to win the Super Bowl right now? Uh, would you I'd like me to read the odds for everyone first? Yes. Yeah, sure. Yes. sure. So, updated odds. So, Buffalo Bills are still plus 500 favorites to wow. win the Super Bowl. Rams are plus 600. Tampa Bay is plus 650. Green Bay plus 900. Cowboys plus 900. Arizona Cardinals plus 1,100. Baltimore plus 1,200. Chiefs plus 1,200. Chiefs still up there. Tennessee Titans plus 2,000. Chargers plus 2,500. And then I'll stop here. Is uh, that... Is that Today that went out. That like, update literally this from? morning. This is just uh, okay, this okay, is yeah, odd yeah, charges yeah, aggregates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then what did I, you say the Chargers were? The Chargers 2, were twenty five hundred. I mean, twenty five hundred. Yeah, plus twenty five hundred. Tennessee's plus two thousand. Yeah, I, I honestly, yeah, the opening odds versus the current are crazy. Honestly, yeah, like yeah. I feel like but, even more so than the previous years. This year is like wide open for who could win it. Like there's no clear favorite in my eye. I got it. I, I get. Too. Okay, go. Yeah, go, start, yeah, go in order. Yeah. So I took Rams plus twelve hundred start of the season. Yeah, I would. I still like that bet. Yeah, obviously. it's at plus six hundred now. So I'm not. Yeah, I wouldn't bet it right now, but I would take the Ravens. I put my money on the Ravens plus twelve hundred. Yeah, nice bet. Yeah, they Fun the fact, dynamic of of like now being able to throw the ball really well. I, d- I don't love their defense, but when they put on those colors, they can play special yeah, defense. So I like ball. the Ravens too. Baltimore opened at plus twelve hundred, and they're currently at plus twelve hundred. So okay. on pace with the open line there. You said Baltimore. I don't. I don't know if they'd be my first pick, but based on their odds, I really like that. I mean, I still gonna lean box just because, yeah. like, they were they're so good everywhere, and like even last year at the start of the year they weren't even that good. So I could easily see them turn it on again at the second half of the season. Yeah. I think the Packers is kind of good value too. I don't. I didn't. Want I'm, not, I'm not going to sit one. here and pick yeah, them. I didn't. I'm want, not, I was, I didn't. What was their price? Packers are plus nine hundred. They opened at plus nine hundred yeah. as well. I wouldn't bet the Packers in, until I got them at like twelve hundred. Yeah, which That's they where probably I could go the too. They could take an L to they Seattle could. this week yeah. after Russell comes back. They could. What are you? What are you going with? God, I think Derrick Henry comes back. I think you're, you're on the I, Titans now. I, see, I so said, I think you're wasting money betting on the Titans. I know. Yeah. 2000, I feel that plus two thousand. That's crazy. That's value, crazy value. Even though. Because I, it has to be Derrick Henry back, because otherwise I don't I really buy it. If he comes but back late in this, this season. defense played so well, they, were so good. they played so good. I know, I know, those were some terrible decisions by Matthew Stafford that basically spotted them a, a lead that the, the Rams just couldn't come back from. Danico Autry played so good last night. Same with Jeffrey Simmons. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They were both really good. I, I know. I hate to think about this from the p- part of like their. It se- almost seems like the exact same defense and somehow they're playing way better because mm-hmm. the Bengals were like that yeah. until like two weeks ago. And then now they're playing terrible defense like you would have thought. But I don't know. It's the, If this defense plays this well and they Remember get Derrick Henry back. Remember you hated back, their uh, defense to start the year? I, yeah. Well, but I almost, wasn't but it'll be in my head. That'll be in my head for the rest of the year. I'll yeah. be thinking about the bank. what happened. The Bengals just did in terms of their defense falling off the rails. I'll be thinking to myself, the Titans are going to do the, th- the same, exact same thing. Did you? I watched that Tannehill, that Tannehill touchdown. You know, I like just scampered and nobody near him. Yeah, I feel like I've seen that play a billion times. Like for some yeah. reason, nobody ever considers it, it Tannehill never, to score, even though he has so many rushing. It touchdowns. never doesn't work. Every yeah. single time I've ever seen a team attempt that play, it has worked every single time. No, no, no. no. I feel like it's only for him. You think so? Titans. From I don't know. Maybe I just it does seen work enough. a lot. It does work a lot, definitely. But it just—I I thought it was crazy that yeah. it just seems always to be the case. He's a lot more of a rushing threat than people think. I'm do I'm. I would say the Titans if I was betting it, but I the other one would be um, the, Sorry, who was who was between two thousand and a thousand. Um, okay, so the Tennessee Titans plus two thousand, Chargers plus twenty five hundred, New Orleans Saints plus 2, no no a uh, thousand oh, and two thousand. Um, Cardinals plus eleven hundred. Cardinals. That's Cardinals. what I was thinking. Cardinals. That's fucking crazy value. They're yeah. open at plus four thousand for the record. That is crazy. The jump there, but yeah, yeah, I don't hate that either at that value. Um, for me, 
And this brings me lots of pain. Avery, thank you for saying the Packers. I will not say the Packers. Um, I like the Cowboys at plus 900 for value. I like this Cowboys team. I hate to say it. I fucking hate, despise every bad word you can say about someone. I hate Mike McCarthy. But this Cowboys team is good. They're top five offense, top five defense, I believe. Might not be after this week, but before this week they were. Um, I like the Cowboys, and I also like the Baltimore Ravens at plus 1,200. I think you were on note. Yeah. I think that's a great – like the way they're playing football right now, I know the Vikings aren't anything special, but Lamar Jackson completely – Finding a way to win. Finding, finding a way to a way win ball games, finding a way oh. to throw the shit out of the ball. They got the weapons everywhere. Your guy, Rashad Bateman, yeah. back. Back. All first down, first down machine, Rashad Bateman. All 11 catches went for first downs. Yeah, so I like the Ravens. He had 11 catches? No. No, his just, I mean, that stat is crazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> All of his catches have gone for first downs. I like the Ravens, a plus 1,200, and then the Cowboys. Those are my two. Yeah, that Chargers value is crazy. That Chargers and Titans value is kind of crazy to me. But again, I, I don't want to talk about my own team. Uh, I feel like with the Cowboys, though, like that loss was pretty concerning. I wouldn't like, get too crazy yeah, about it. Yeah, I wouldn't it. get too worked yeah. up about it. Yeah. The Broncos have just looked horrible recently, and just to get blown out by them. Dak came back, though. Let's keep in mind. Dak, back from an injury, first came back, right? So something yeah. about Von Miller being out of the building helped them out yeah. this week, yeah. apparently. <laughs> Von Miller is a cancer. Odell getting out of the, out of the locker room as well. <laughs> yeah, talk about talk yeah. about the Odell. Yeah, well, The Odell thing is cr- crazy how much better this team Baker's, is. Baker's there. splits with Odell and without are insanity. Absolute craziness. I could see him... I could see him going to somewhere. Like, there's been Seahawks chatter this morning. So I don't really think that would. I heard that he wants to go there. The needle on him. That's what he, he does. That's allegedly. Uh, that wouldn't All make right. him a big, big player. I don't think. But yeah, no, that would. I would hate that for Tyler Lockett. I would love it because I don't have any Tyler Lockett or DK Metcalf shares. I don't. Yeah, either. but I don't think he's at that point where he goes there and he really impacts. Takes it. Yeah. Them he's that not much. gonna be like the. He's not taking Tyler Lockett's like. What are the chances no one picks him up? Zero. Zero. There's a yeah, chance that nobody. Pick him up. There's a chance that nobody picks him up off waivers. Someone's gonna even like a shit team could pick him up just to fill the seats a bit. Like you know what I mean? Like <laughs> no, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to go to a shitty team. He's already said that. I mean, if he wants targets, he wants go to, to the Saints. Or... They have no wide receivers at all there. Saints, you know, they've, they've, they've you know what bo- bothers me is that so people were um, kind of defending him in that you know they said that this you know he didn't create this type of drama about like wanting to be out and him getting waived. His dad does not make a video like that without going, hey, Odell, like, I'm going to post this. Maybe. I no know. way. Avery, right? for fuck's sake. No sakes. chance. You've seen some crazy sports dads in their day. No matter how crazy, like, his dad is probably, like, wanting to put that. He's like, oh, I'm going to put this out, Odell. I'm going to put this out. Yeah. Do you if think? He had, there's no, I wouldn't speak to my dad if he did that. Maybe Odell doesn't <laughs> give a shit. Maybe he wanted his, liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe would, if he didn't, he was like, yeah. oh, that's nice. Thanks, it, dad. Yeah. yeah. I doubt it. I doubt that's the case. I think Odell would, has to know about it. It's funny seeing that. Vikings wear the free Odell shirts. Yeah, after the he, LSU guys. He's yeah, it was yeah. free. Kind of hilarious. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you want to know why JJ was was wearing that? Is because all the cash he gave him after winning the national championship. True. True. All time. Line the that pockets. Was a great story. <laughs> I that is that is the great thing about being like living in the U.S., going to um, a big time college, like getting to be a fan of. You know, maybe it's whatever it is. It's Arkansas. It's Michigan or whatever. Yeah. And those guys as alumni go back and just love like love those dudes so much. Yeah. Yeah. And are so passionate about the program. That's fun. That's I would love to have that kind of thing in my life. Um okay, let's talk about the Packers and Chiefs game. Where should we start? Should we start with Sandy? I want to give Sandy an opportunity to speak on this actually is what I'll do. So I'll preface it by saying when Aaron Rodgers was annou- when it was announced that he had COVID, which to be honest, the protocols, I know we, you know, at this point COVID we don't really care too much like People just don't really care anymore about it, which is completely fine. like I don't have a, I, I don't have to take issue with that. That's fine, but the fact that the whole wide receiver room got COVID, like Aaron Rodgers, as a as we are now learning, unvaccinated, was bound to get COVID. Yeah, I'm surprised I mean, no one, nobody else. Yeah. I'm surprised the offensive line hasn't dealt with it. Yeah, um, but Sandy was kind was excited to see Jordan Love, <laughs> to say the least. You cheered. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, yes. I was. Ex- well, you can finish, and I'll, I'll speak. It's your the, turn. The issue to me with that, and the issue to pro- I think all three of us was that the Packers. I don't think that getting a buy in through the wild card round has never been more important. Starting last yeah, year, the only it's never been it. more important because one team gets it, and they're tied for that spot. Actually, they were. They would have had the yeah. tiebreaker because it was them and the Cardinals. They lose. Jordan Love good. doesn't do much of anything during the during that game. And now they're a game behind. Now, now they're a game behind the Cardinals. 
So do we really want to see Jordan Love? Even though you got to see him enough, he got enough work in the in the summer when Aaron Rodgers wasn't in the building. Why did we need to see him? And why did the Packers season need to be hurt? By what if they game? don't get the buy by one game? Yeah. Then yes, then you're correct. You're exactly correct. And I'm not even hat. Like here's where I was at. Right. So we drafted QB in the first round. Lots of draft capital on that guy. He played in the preseason. Again, no one, you don't really take preseason games into account. Or at least I don't as a fan of a team drafting a first-round QB. That just Zach doesn't Wilson count in my book. In the preseason. Yeah, like that doesn't count for me. That's part of the reason I bet the Jets over watching the preseason. <laughs> so it's on me. But for the Packers' perspective, yes, I was upset initially. And then 30 minutes later, they announced Jordan Love's going to start. I got excited. Where my excitement lies, so I was also I was upset and excited. I was excited to see Jordan Love play in a real meaningful football game against a team, the Chiefs, who have been struggling, defense who was struggling. I thought, you know, this would be a great spot. Definitely in a tough environment. The Chiefs Stadium, loudest stadium in football, arguably. I mean, it's, it's a tough place to play, so I thought it'd be good exposure for him to get some real time in. So that's why I was excited. At the same time, T-Mac, you were correct. I should have paused my excitement because we are here to win football games. And that's where my excitement really over, like, over Trump reality where I, need, I know we need to win that football game. That's going to yeah. come back. It's, there's no question we're in week 10 now going into week 10. There's no question that's going to weigh on. Like if we can go to 8-1 and one on the year. That's, I mean, that's a whole different, it's a whole different thing. We have the tiebreaker. So I'm not happy. I hope Rogers is back this week. But as a fan, Jordan Love did not play nearly as good as I thought. I didn't have crazy high expectations, but I guess the Chiefs defense, I expect them to, you know, air it out a bit more. The game plan, I thought Matt LaFleur called an Aaron Rodgers game plan for an for Jordan Love, who is obviously yeah, not Aaron Rodgers. The say. game he did take blame in the post game. If you listen, yeah, he did. LaFleur said it was on me. It looked like nothing, like all the audibles, it's all like check with me. Like they run a check with me offense, which means the quarterback, they have two plays. They always check, Rodgers will always check the play. Right. They were running a lot of check with me with Jordan Love, who won. It's allowed to see them first game of his career. Two, that he had two weeks of, uh, two days of practice or three days of practice with the first team. Devontae didn't practice till Friday, so he only had one day with Devontae. Like a lot of those things came into play, not making excuses, but they should have, I think it's on the floor a bit as well here. I don't understand why they didn't have a similar game plan to they did when they had the game as the Cardinals. Yeah. Because like Rodgers was throwing so many checkdowns in that game. Yeah. To, to do the same thing with Jordan Love. Give it to Aaron Jones. Give it to Devontae Adams. They were throwing like down to back them. shoulders. Like that's such yeah. an Aaron Rodgers. Like they have no chemistry. Like I was watching yeah. him sail deep balls over Devontae, throw 20 yards behind him on a, when it's supposed to be back shoulder. Devontae has no fucking idea. And the yeah. Chiefs are blitzing every play. Like run some slants. Yeah. There was no Dante middle, Adams a slant. nothing over the middle. Obviously, Bob Tony being out is costly. No, I didn't see Mercedes Lewis do anything. I don't think any of the tight ends had a catch. It was just a lot of like dink outside passes when the whole middle, seven man blitz, eight man blitz. They were running every third down. I think they blitz seven people every single yeah. third down. Literally just like dunk a, a one step slant. And it's like a, a 10 yard gain. It's a first down. So again, I'm not the coach, but I saw a lot of, I'm not blaming this all on Jordan Love. I think it's, you know, a lot on the floor as well, which he did take blame for it. But Overall, not as pleased as I was on Tuesday or Monday whenever it came out when I was that excited. Was hoping for better. <laughs> as, as a Rodgers hater, I'll say the Packers would have won that game if Rodgers played for one hundred percent. Well, yeah, let's go to let's move from, yeah. from Sandy to now Avery because the Packers yeah. lost this game and only gave up thirteen points. And look, with the I am teams I am completely against, yeah, with the special teams play too that they didn't even turn into more than three points, yeah, which was crazy. criminal. Yeah. Um I'm never the guy that says you know, has the league figured this guy out? Because I think that's a silly, stupid thing to say. But this is another week where I thought Mahomes probably should have thrown three interceptions in that game. There was a couple plays that I just was like, why on earth? What did you see here? What is this look that you have? And every team is playing a ton of cover two against this against this uh, this offense. I think that's plain and simple. Two high safety looks. Sandy, I need you to tell me how we how Patrick Mahomes beats the two high cover two. How does he how does he beat it? How does he figure You're this gonna out? You're going to be cover two every time with middle middle of the field, past the linebackers, in between the safeties and then in the corners in the pocket behind the corner just, just in sit, in the the zone. Zone. Yeah. sit in the zone. I Kelsey had a pretty it good game. Should be Travis Kelsey. Territory. Kelsey should be just like he was the winning the throw. Fuck, it was like the last drive over the middle. Over the middle, he had he had our like second string safety covering him. It was like literally could have ran to the house. It was a post route. It was like a dig yeah. route over the middle. Patrick threw it to uh, I don't want to say Hardman. Yeah, it was Hardman. receivers wide open. Like the Packers, the way you beat the Packers, beat the seams, beat the seams all day. No one like last few weeks, no one's been doing it. Go like you can run four verticals against the Packers. We're like our secondary. Kevin King, 
<laughs> he looked he almost had a Kevin so he King. Had that. There was Kevin a King. Yeah. He had Kevin that. King. That was one of them. Yeah. I, God forbid, I can't believe I thought I'd never speak to you again. <laughs> he played a good football game yesterday. Could have played better. He should yes. have had a pick, too. His D tackling, he's coming up, making plays. I don't know. Hey. As a fan, I'm still positive. I thought Jordan Love could have played better, though. Bottom line. It it doesn't make sense. Like, <laughs> the things that work don't work anymore. Yeah. I can't, You can't, like... I can't keep making excuses for the team anymore. You just need to figure it out. Like, this team isn't good. It's the defense, it's nice to see the defense play well, play yeah. with a little bit of fucking little energy. The offensive line looked terrible yesterday, too, for the backers. But. It's, yeah, I'm lost yeah. as to what to say. <laughs> like, How about Rashawn Gary, though? I know you guys, I mean, you don't watch Packers football. I couldn't even so tell yeah. you a single play that he made. Yeah, he made a sack, and he's been huge. He's been one of the, because we've been missing, uh, Zadarius Smith, so he's yeah. taking over that role. Michigan guy, Big Ten. I know you're not a huge Michigan guy, not but a huge Michigan guy. But Sean Gary's guy. been stepping up big time for the Packers defense. I just, I'm completely at a loss of words. So if somebody who's watching this can tell me where I can get all 22 film living in Canada, because the zone has <laughs> VPN game pass VPN. Well, I don't know how to get a VPN. It he's would be nice VPN. to see like, this VPN, Chiefs offense VPN every play. See what see what's happening. See why they're, it's not working anymore. Because everything, a lot of what they build is cr- is crossers. It's throwing. It's going Tyree Kill in the slot, cross the middle of the field. You you and you meet him near the like in that pocket yeah. by the sideline and that type oh, of stuff I mean, just isn't also happening. no one just buys the play action for them anymore like no one that, I think, that's I a think big the thing. check down needs to like there needs to be more check down type stuff ever since, the right ever back since back. they that's lost Clyde five yards. it was the uh, I don't think it's Clyde like, no it's just it's the offensive Clyde. scheme it's just like it's a sh- it's a drop back every play like, yeah. the defense is not you want to run the ball go ahead that's basically what they're saying and I don't think they ran it pretty well I thought they didn't run enough though. How many carry? Yeah. How many rushing attempts yesterday? I'm not sure. Do you, like, I can tell you. It was a heavy pass heavy all day. Yeah, so they had yeah, 19 attempts for Daryl Williams. They had 15 uh, 24 25 total attempts That's in the not, game. But what's the percentage split? Does it show you? Like Oh, run, run pass? pass? I don't know. I'd have to tell you it's all good. I'd have to look at drop back. Let me see how many dropbacks. Uh I know for had. sure it was a lot of Williams had 38 dropbacks. So it's just not of, a, of they didn't run that many plays, plays of, yeah. of sixty whatever plays, thirty eight were were dropbacks. So it's just yeah. I'm in that spot where I do think you know I'm always like the Chiefs will turn this around, the Chiefs will figure this out. You know we, we've got a great head coach who's a great play caller. You've got the best quarterback in the NFL, but it's just not happening, which is just crazy to me. Mahomes got his money. I doesn't care. Yeah, yeah. Is that what it is? He's not. He's, he's not. Aaron Rod- he used to Aaron Rodgers. His yeah. family. That's what he needs to do. Chiefs That's a good Super Bowl idea. Chiefs. Yeah. If he Aaron Rodgers' family, I'd go take the the Chiefs Super Bowl future immediately. Speaking of speaking of uh, family, Jordan Love just sitting yeah. her, her mom. That's sweet. And, uh, oh my god, that mom tweet and I'd girlfriend just sitting in the boonies. I still can't believe the the communication from the booth of like here's where they are. <laughs> And they didn't they, like find them. They, they just like, used zoomed it in. They used the blimp to find them. Find them. <laughs> Read this this tweet. I was driving in this morning. I saw this tweet. I almost like spit out of my mouth. It was so funny. Some guy tweeted. Some analyst goes, "Why is Jordan Love's family on the moon to watch his first start?" <laughs> and then this girl, Kelly Price. I, I don't know if we know who she is, but she quote tweeted and says. The Packers haven't had to fill family ticket requests for a quarterback in a really long time. Give them a break. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's I, a funny. The guy oh, that's that's actually that was so good. That made me a little less upset about the game. That's good stuff. I do think they do that to back like players that aren't playing in the games, like backups, uh, guys that are down on the depth chart, their family members. They probably sit in this kind of seat all the time. Do you think the Packers are like as as like a salute to Aaron Rodgers since we drafted a uh, quarterback in the first round instead of getting him some help we'll sit Jordan Love's family in the top deck to make him feel better (laughs) this is a what do you think Aaron Rodgers said when he saw that he didn't care yeah he didn't care I think think Chase Daniel his wife sits she's she's a veteran of that type of seat (laughs) Chase Daniel Oh, legend. He's still doing it what team where is he right now he's with the Chargers Chargers. he's with the Chargers I just thought of a new narrative oh no like Maybe Rogers narrative, Packers narrative oh, Packers. Okay. involving Rogers. Mm-hmm. Maybe the Packers coaching staff decided to intentionally fuck up the game for Jordan Love, so that they could think Aaron, so that they can make Aaron Rodgers think the Packers need me. I need to stay here with the Packers. They want me. To, no, that would, no, for Aaron Rodgers. No, that's he knows. You obviously that. don't know Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is more of a guy that said would say fuck you. This is what you you you, you get did. the card you dealt. Yeah. Like you have to take. Yeah. If you made the bed, you have to lay in. And that's the kind of guy he is. So I think that'd give him more incentive. Hey, I'm gonna go 
play somewhere else next year and you'll see what you, you're missing out on. Right. So. But the key is here is that he doesn't hate Matt LaFleur. He doesn't no, hate he the team. Loves he, hates, he hates upper management. Yeah. He hates gun so chest. Yeah. There's definitely going to be some some uh, interesting conversations. Kissing the feet and saying, please, Aaron, please, <laughs> from from the rest of the guys. But, I mean, that's the thing. Is I know you're excited about you know the Jordan Love era is going to start at some point. It has to. It's starting next year pretty much positively. And without Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers, it'll just be... I'm not so sure. About, I don't want to get too long in this narrative. I really don't know if Aaron's going to leave next year. Even after the last dance photo? I'm. Oh, my I'm, God, I'm Sandy. Not, I'm like 75 no to 25. I'm 75%. He's gone 25%. Not. Okay, so explain to me how it The ha- only way Aaron Rodgers stays is they win the Super Bowl this year. He will stay. I don't think they're going to win the Super Bowl, though. The Super Bowl is not going to change anything. Yes. If he wins the Super Bowl this year, he's staying. Why? I mean, he's won one already. Why, why would that why change would it? it? If Aaron Rodgers wins the Super Bowl this year, I think... Because he's this is the first year he's been able to make upper he's making upper management decisions this year. He signed Randall Cobb, they went out and got him. They would have never done that in his whole I don't know how many years his brother's been there, but they would never that's not Packers front office. They never do that shit. Why, he's been, but why, why wouldn't they do that? They never have. And over that was the whole complaint. They're starting to do it this year to like appease to him this year. Like Gunkest would never have done that. The Ted Thompson in his day, R.I.P. to a legend, would never have done that. This this is the first year where they're listening openly making decisions that Rogers wants. They, if he wins Zuba this year, he will stay in Green Bay. That's my only. Other than that, I think it's he's going to be gone. So I think you have a twenty five percent chance of winning the Super Bowl. Then, yes, <laughs> <laughs> correct. I thought you were going to say something about they let what's his name Guten Kunst go. No, that's how he he's stays. He's not going anywhere because he's not going anywhere. Even though I, but rather, a Super Bowl is not. I don't feel a Super Bowl is going to. You don't think it's anything. solving it? You don't think that fixes the home the issues at home? For him? That makes him. That, that he's gonna makes get married him this offseason. He's gonna have yeah, a child. He's like, I'm I am great. I am the other narrative. Over, back the other narrative whatever I want. Most people took COVID, all the COVID crazy bullshit he said in that thing. That was the only narrative I took. Or they took the narrative I've took, he said he wanted to have a baby. So another thing. He could want to move to another city, raise a baby in like LA, <laughs> raise a baby in a I don't know, where else could he go? A nicer city, Florida, maybe some New York, somewhere else. That's that was my other narrative. Denver. So I mean a baby in Green Bay in seems Denver. very relaxing though. He's a, and he's a laid back guy. That's another reason. Like he doesn't want to. He's not really a spotlight guy. No, he's not a laid back guy. He's a laid back in the off no. season. That guy. Where do you hear about him in the off season? Other than Jeopardy, that was pretty big. But in Hawaii, Hawaii, having conversations. That was with, having conversations with Joe Rogan about the pandemic, asking but him for record, advice. When was he? But when was he? Ever, that was not on air. Rogers, <laughs> yeah, Rogers was on air, but he's Rogers did his own conversation. Let's, let's let's remind ourselves here. We got Patrick Mahomes. This, brother making fucking TikToks and he's just living that world. Yeah, he's Aaron Rodgers literally disowned his family when his brother went on The Bachelor. He said, fuck you, fuck you I mom, love how he calls fuck you dad, right. fuck you and Jordan. He's a laid back guy. He is, but he no, he just doesn't want against yeah, the no, people he's, he's, he's a man, to him. But he wants man. nothing. He wants nothing to do with the spotlight. He, you think he wants anything to do with The Bachelor? Absolutely not. He cut his whole family off. He went on Jeopardy too. I know, but that's that's his own thing. He That's one of the very <laughs> few things. Thing. He doesn't want the family drama. He doesn't want any outside shit. If it, he wants to do it, he'll do it, but he's very laid back in that sense. I mean, he did he need to go on the Pat McAfee show and talk about you know the fact that yes, he, because people were putting up like narratives about him. He had to go set the wait. Wasn't straight. this what day did he do? He this went thing? on Friday. He what? usually goes Tuesday. Aaron yeah. Rodgers Tuesdays. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers. Oh, he, he goes on that oh, show okay, weekly. Right. Yeah, every yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. Wow. See, that does not sound like you know what a relaxed guy does. He doesn't need to talk to the media like a. Uh, he's relaxed. Rodgers is like on social media, like Tom Brady tweeting out like him throwing. He's, the ball he's a moon. narcissist. Like, he's he's not, a narcissist. Yeah, he is kind of a narcissist, but he's not like tweeting shit. He's not like a social media guy at all. Really, like, no, I know, but the fact that he goes on a fuck. show once he's a week, while Tom Brady's all this fuck making TikToks. Yeah, because Tom Brady's a genius. Okay, let us know. Open the can. Let us know in the comments like the percent chance you think there is that Aaron Rodgers is back with the Packers next Great season. Great question. Actually, and also let us know, give us the, the scenario where the Packers Keep win the him. Super Bowl and he stays. I think that's an even less of a chance. <laughs> I, got, I got it. That's my only time. That's my only narrative. That'd be the last dance. Okay, two things to wrap up with. I want, this is going to be, let's Rapid take a fire. guy that impressed you and just quick waiver wire type situation. I know I'm going to catch everybody off guard here. Yeah. But Jared might, might have someone in mind already. Do you? I don't. I mean, me. honestly, uh, Jordan Howard getting so many carries is like, I'd pick him, pick him up at this point. How funny was it that Kenny Gamewell gets his second touch oh my of the game God. And on the goal line? <laughs> it was like run. the Eagles were like, uh, Helen Keller could get the football here in this situation. Yeah. And she would score. The Chargers run defense you is can't so trust bad. The Eagles running backs. I thought that was awesome. He did nothing all game and then yeah. he gets that touch. The but other he's thing, like the most carries, Howard, him and Boston Scott. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not I love how they've well. completely changed their offense now that Miles Sanders is out. They're like, okay, now we have to run the ball now that we don't have our starting well, running back. No, it was the char- It was because of the Chargers. Yeah, but, and they, they, two weeks ago, they did the same the thing. Lions, but they had their so. corners out. And too, they killed the them. They yeah. were already killing the Lions. That's the fair. Chargers thing was about they they wanted to handle clock. Like they, I watched the entirety of that game, obviously, very in-depth. And it was all about the fact that they didn't want to give the Chargers offense the ball. They wanted to control clock, keep things as close as they could. Because if they got into a situation where they were like three and like three and out, the Chargers never punted in this game. They won by by three, but they went for it on fourth down inside the red zone twice and didn't uh, didn't and didn't, didn't walk away with any points. So they they played it a game plan that they thought gave them the best chance to maybe win the game. Yeah. Uh, f- but let me do like Renfro. I'm kind of upset because I think I'm getting Brian Edwards really wrong. Even though I think he's a deep threat, he, he didn't just hasn't target, demanding. Did he? I don't think he did. Even though he's there's more. I wouldn't spend a good amount of he's not even, I listened to you and I spent some good fab. Yeah, on Brian he just Edwards this week. I don't know. He, he's the prototypical guy that you would hit on these big plays, but he's just still even with rugs out, not demanding. You know the ball, yeah. but Renfro, Man, volume Renfro. wise. If he's available this week, then he seems oh, yeah, like the type of player. Put some respect on Hunter Renfro's name. Every yeah. week in PPR, at least, double-digit performances except the uh, October 17th the Broncos. Every other game, at least 10 fantasy points. Yeah. yeah. Put respect. He on. gets, like, at least five catches for 55 yards every time. Are we forgetting to name the surprise of the week? Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore. Well, that was one, too. But <laughs> Colt McCoy from the couch. This guy. Not from the couch. But, but he's an elite backup. He's I, elite backup. But still, he – what good for him. God yeah. love to see that. That yep. guy is just – nice seeing a guy. Yeah, like, just, like, a guy from my childhood – yeah. Like that's a childhood guy. Like you remember him and you know USC. just battling it out with yeah. USC. Like when I was, that was when I was like just get like loving football back in the day. I was as a kid. Love to see him out there still doing yeah. it. You know he's gonna he'll be in the league for a good amount of time after that. Like he's he's gonna get a job until he's done with football. <laughs> oh, yeah. Backup QB job. So that was my surprise of the week. Colt McCoy. Two I guys that I love that I love coming to the year that have struggled that played really well. Elijah Moore and Brandon Ayuk. Yeah. They, what did I they're, they're both back. I didn't watch any of that game. He had a ton of targets. Yeah. Caught a touchdown. He, yards. I, who are you talking about? Ayuk. Ayuk. He had 80 some yards. Back to back. 89 Rams. yards and plus, touch. Back to back, 10 plus fantasy points. I yep, will, he's back. I will say that I don't I don't care. You don't care? <laughs> I don't think it really matters. You don't give a shit? Like, I, I, I'm not willing to... I think that he's low priority for me in terms of if he's on the waiver just because... All right, sorry, camera cut. Um, the Ayuk thing. I just think that... With Debo was banged up, Kittle's back had a good game. This offense was in a passing game script pretty much the entire time. Like I, we talked about Shanahan, what a terrible game from this team. I just don't think that Ayuk is worth. If someone's hurt, yeah, definitely. Like he's one of those guys that has high value as a wide receiver if the depth chart gets gets changed. Well, they finally talked about him being. You know how the big thing Finding was. Finding himself, yeah. He's not, a, he's not a pro. He doesn't know how yeah. to be a pro. And then Kyle Shanahan yeah. comes out this week and says he's finally learning what it takes to be a pro. That's why I'm more in on him now. Yeah. yeah. Ma- matchups. The offense as a whole. Right, here's next four me. matchups. All right, tell me if you're, if you're, if you're going to start him any of these matchups. He has the Rams ne- next week. Obviously a tough matchup there. Then he goes to, at Jacksonville versus the Vikings at Seattle. Love them all. Yeah. Those are three. I of, mentioned the 49ers in terms of their matchups the rest of the yeah. way. They were juicy. That's a ju- Hey, if, you're, if he's on your waiver wire, I'm probably picking up Brandon. Yeah. I mean, no, not many guys on the waiver wire can have as much percent? upside that you cast. What's his percentage? Uh, uh, it's probably at least 30% is my guess. But no, give, us a, give, us, a, give us a peek. That. Yeah, I, I bet in the yeah. high 30s. Quickly on another one, Devontae, like Devontae Freeman found the end zone. So that was... That, I picked him up for free in a couple leagues. I, I felt super sharp because I picked him up. So that I didn't play Daryl sixty percent of the leagues, but Six, also 60. also yeah. think Jeez. a lot of these Yahoo leagues are going to be leagues that are like free leagues or people don't care. So, so they, they dropped him at the start of the year. They never dropped him at all. Yeah, yeah, that's Fair. true. Uh, really, otherwise, not too much. I mean, there was the the injury for Chase Edmonds, of course, gives James Conner that opportunity as the like the number one. Eno Benjamin got in the end zone. Yeah. Good old Arizona State lad there, uh, stepping in for for Edmonds. But pretty much all you can think of. We don't. We'll get into waiver wire usually. At, this is early on in the day, so we got to still got to soak in all of. All what, of what do you think of Elijah Moore? Because I know you weren't as high on him as the rest of us were. Yeah, I. It was kind I of don't put a lot of stock into it. Ish. The first one, he got a touchdown on the first drive. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah. The first drive TD. Again, I, I hate that I'm, you know, I'm just stick it, sticking in the mud with and not moving on Ayuk or Moore. And I do, I do think they're both good players. Like I do think Ayuk's a good player. I think Elijah Moore is a very good player that could. Become a really important player for the Jets 
in the future of the organization, but I just don't think it's this year. I think Crowder's stepped in, gone to that same role he has. We've been missing Corey Davis the last few weeks. He's the just Jets so have somehow just started to score a ton of points the last couple weeks too. Yeah, that I don't think they will typically would be doing week in and week out. So. It's just so much better than Keelan Cole and Denzel Mims. It, it makes no sense to me that he's getting he's on the field less than those guys. Well, yeah, but he right. I, I think he's I think he's the most talented player. But I think even when this room is healthy, he's the third guy still. Yeah, that's fair. So that's and it's the Jets. So that's what I would take away. Okay, let's wrap up with predictions for Monday Night Football. Bears. Steelers are at home. Steelers are at home. Steelers seven points home, spread. Hosting the Bears. Seven point spread. I this total is astronomically low. I'm on the over for Strap Tank for our show last week. I so might go under. The under. What's, what's this? What's the setup? Forty. It's f- thirty. It's at thirty. I got it at forty on on our show. It's at thirty. Is that thirty nine right now? Yeah. Um, it's it hurts me to take. I took the over. It hurts me to take the over. Um, I like the Bears to cover the spread as well. Um, I, as you know, every part time game I tease. Would you say the spread was seven? Seven. 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 Wow. I have the Bears yeah. at plus 14 and the over at 32. I just don't. You can't tell me how that doesn't hit. Like, Teaser. tell me. This is the. This uh, is me. Yeah. I know. And Teaser. Team X going to hit me up when this parlay hits as well. <laughs> yeah. And be like, told you, motherfucker. It's, uh, it's Hungry Dog Week, Bears money line. Matt Nagy's back, though. Big, big, big thing to note if you're betting on the Bears. It is a Hungry Dog Week. I can't believe true. the Bears are seven point underdogs. That just feels way too much in a it's, game that's such a low total. You bet the Steelers when they're dogs and you. Don't bet the Steelers when they're favorites. We had a lot of people. Uh, you can join the Discord. Link will be down below. But a lot of people in the Discord were asking me on Sunday morning about what to do with David Montgomery because it was thinking he was going to play and then he yeah. didn't. I was like, ah, just play, play somebody else for this week. Just let's just see how it goes, which is probably a good idea. But I would. I wonder what his rushing total is for the game, like his over under. That would be interesting right to me because yeah. I, I do don't, think I don't know he, if he's going to be limited or not. I do think he comes and just takes his role back. That's what I think happens. So I, I really wish he didn't come back because I need Khalil Herbert to have a good game. <laughs> Sorry, back again. The camera does not want us to finish this thing, finish this show up. But the Montgomery rushing totals would I be interested in because I think he takes his job back. I know you need need Khalil Herbert, but yeah. I think this will I, be a pretty bad game. Yeah, I, it's going to be one of those games that could we could even see like six three at half and then it ends up being like sixteen ten final score. Yeah, yeah, it could be bad. But anyways. Uh, that that's pretty much it. I mean, we cov- we didn't if we didn't talk about the Titans enough. I know we didn't. If you're upset about that, let us know in the comments. Would you like us to talk about next time? We'll Titans do that. Elite. We'll One more cover question your team. before you cut off. Yeah, is Allen Robinson getting over 37 and a half reception or saving yards? Saving tonight? yards, 37 Seven and a half. He's gonna hit the over. 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 He's you gonna hit Alan it because Robinson is I going need him to get less. Tonight. Over. <laughs> you, over. Over. You need over. To hedge that. Yeah. Take it home. You get the over. Allen Robinson, or you win your lock fantasy. alert, lock alert, not life alert. It's lock alert. Over thirty-seven and a half, hammer time. Love it. I need him to get less than eleven fantasy points. Well, so. tough shit. Not tonight. Here's what I'm excited about: is that I have not. I've barely watched Justin Fields play because they've been playing at like one o'clock, and so much is That's going your guy. on. That's your guy. Even though I, I know, I'm excited tonight to like watch a, his game in full, not miss a snap type deal. T Mac watching Justin Fields narrative that the he'll play better because that's your guy. You tweeted, yeah, he's gonna be the best coach. Quarterback in the class, so yeah, he shows that. that looks, right. that looks, doesn't look good. No. I need Matt Nagy out Might of there. Need to pull that pin. That's what I need. No, I'll never. I won't pull it because there'll Keep be a, there'll be a day when I can reference it. Yeah. They'll yeah. have one good, yeah. real good Book, game. Maybe bookmark it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. That's about it for week nine. Uh, go check out. We just launched the week ten contest on Owners Box. Code Drew nine for a ten dollar free entry. If you're listening, I think the people that listen have probably already used it, so thank you for that. But get into the contest for Week 10. Uh, let us know, again, about how what is the chance that Aaron Rodgers is back with the Packers next season. That's an important What's it going to take yeah. for him to stay? That's a better question. You let <laughs> us know in the comments. No chance. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.